Hello YouTubers, I'm making this video uh, because uh, I backed this project not too long ago on Kickstarter for the Tiny Duino and I'm a big fan of microprocessors and the Arduino. Um, I haven't seen any other videos yet on YouTube except for the ones that uh, Ken Burns of Tiny Circuits, the, the creator of the Tiny Duino, has made. So I wanted to make a video here to inform people so they'd understand the capabilities of the Tiny Duino and some of the differences. Um, so when I backed the project, uh, I opted to get the Tiny Duino and the Tiny Lily. Um, if you see here, they came in a nice little packaging. There was one kit for the Tiny Lily and one for the Tiny Duino. Uh, Ken actually put these nice cards in there, which he signed to thank everybody uh, that donated for the project. It had 1,185 backers. His goal was $10,000. He actually raised $109,699. He's actually opened a 3,000 plus square feet facility now in Akron, Ohio. Uh, he has his own engineering line uh, to crank these tiny Duinos out. So I want to start. Um, I'm assuming that you already know what microcontrollers are and what the Arduino is. Uh, here's your standard Arduino Uno. As you can see, it's about this size of a a deck of cards, maybe a little smaller. Um, if you're familiar with it, you know the capabilities of it and, and what you can do with it. Um, I'm going to leave it down here. I have these objects down here for comparison. We have a button off of my pants, <laughs> a uh, key off of a keyboard, we have a dime, penny, nickel, quarter, and a little Pezio speaker as well as a pen. Um, I'm also going to show you in comparison, this is the Texas Instruments MSP430. Uh, it's a nice little microcontroller that they had as well. And I'm also going to show you the Raspberry Pi. Now these are just for purely for reference. Um, so here you have the Raspberry Pi, which was conceived in the UK, uh, manufactured in China. Uh, the Texas Instruments, I do believe, obviously it was uh, engineered in Texas, but I I think they're made in China, I'm not completely sure on that. Uh, the Arduino Uno, of course, made in Italy and manufactured in Italy. And then over here we have the tiny Duino. As you can see, it's a uh, very tiny. Uh, it's a small little square modular system that the other modules snap into this universal connector here. Um, if you look at it next to the quarter down here, you'll see uh, it's actually a little little smaller than a quarter. In fact, this is the square version. There's also a circular version that does not have the outside mounting brackets uh, in the corner. It's very, very light. And in my opinion, has just as many capabilities as this big Arduino Uno. Oh, and it's made in... The USA over in Ohio. If you don't believe me, uh, Tiny Circuits has, uh, if you go to tiny-circuits.com, he has a nice blog. He's got some photos of the facility and him getting it up and running. Uh, I actually have the Blink Sketch programmed on both of these. The Tiny Duino itself does not have a USB header to uh, afford it some space, as you can run this on a battery. I'll talk more about that later. Uh, so I'm actually going to snap in. This is the, the Tiny USB shield. So they just snap, as soon as I get my fingers on it, they snap right into each other, just like that. So now I've added the USB capability to it. And I'm also going to add, for this demo, this is the LED 16 shield, which has 16 LEDs in a circular fashion as well. I'm going to snap one here. I'm not actually going to show you me programming these uh, in the Arduino IDE. I think you pretty much know how that works. The only difference between programming an Arduino Uno and the Tiny Duino is obviously when you select your board type, uh, you need to make sure you select the proper type, which Ken gives great instructions. Do not fail to select the wrong type, as you may run your Tiny Duino because it can't um, take all the power that the Arduino Uno has. So you have to select the right type um, of processor board that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the Tiny Duino here. Standard micro USB connector here. Give it a second to boot. And as you can see, 
actually I didn't use the, uh, the LED shield, um, not in this example, but it's running the blink sketch. So you see the LED down here on the actual tiny Duino processor board uh, blinking. I'm going to go ahead and uh, quickly launch the uh, Arduino ID. I already have it up here. And I'm actually going to show you the demo sketch that comes with the LED 16 shield. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that. Make sure I select the Arduino Pro Mini 3.3 volts, 8 megahertz at mega 328. and upload. All right, it's uploading right now. You can see the LEDs in here flashing on the USB programmer. And now the LED 16 shield is scrolling through its simple little demo here that just oscillates back and forth, back and forth. Um, the same Arduino blink code, obviously, over here on the standard Arduino. It's the same exact code. You, you do not have to modify it. And as you can see, the Arduino LED blinking right here. So same exact code there. No difference at all. Um, I'm going to take these back apart so you can see the separate pieces here. I'm going to show you what else uh, comes in the standard uh, packages from Tiny circuits. I have both the Tiny Duino starter kit and the Tiny Lily starter kit. Um, I may get these a little mixed up, so make sure you pay attention if you're ordering that you're not going off exactly what I'm showing you here. Uh, I may have ordered different components than, than you will have ordered. I did opt to get the battery clip, which just gets soldered onto the back of. See, the Arduino Mini already has, or sorry, Tiny Arduino already has the slot just for it. You just have to solder it on there. Um, actually, if you order it from them, they will solder it on for you. I opted specifically in a note to Ken to get this separate because I wanted to only add this when I was ready to battery power my project. So some of the other things that come with the starter package here Besides the uh, processor board, which we already have, which contains the Arduino processor. Um, the LED shield um, also came with the Kickstarter project. If you order later, you're going to have to order these separate. You should have backed the project, hint, hint. Um, as well as the USB programmer. Um, also came with a nice mounting kit here. Uh, it's got all the little plastic mounting brackets and some long screws, so you can mount multiple shields down together. Um, Somewhere. Very nice packaging, by the way, from Ken. Uh, you notice that they did put uh, anti-static bags on the components that needed it and not on the ones that did not. These are a couple prototype shields that were available. Um, two millimeter rectangular prototype shields. I'm going to leave them in the packaging here. Hopefully you can see them. They just have all the pinouts brought through that same USB bus and then over here so you can solder directly or hook up your components to do prototyping. And there's another example. Some people thought that these might be too tiny to solder to. As you can see, the points on there are, are fairly tiny, but that's basically industry standard. Um, we're kind of spoiled sometimes when we use a breadboard, but uh, just have to get better at soldering. That's the case. So that's pretty much all that came with the, the Tiny Duino um, kit. I'm going to go now to the uh, Tiny Lily platform. I got two Tiny Lilies here. I'm going to actually take one of these out. Tiny Lilies have the full-blown Arduino processor on there. Um, however, the points on the outside are your data points, uh, your pinouts. And that is for sewing conductive thread into to go out to uh, clothing. And I do believe this is also washable. Uh, I might want to double check that, but pretty sure it's washable. Um, Along with that, and you can see how tiny that is. That is smaller than a dime. In fact, it's about the same size as my button that came off my pants here. In fact, it's thinner than my button here. As you notice, it does have pinouts to do programming. However, it does not have a USB interface. 
So you get the tiny Lily mini USB board here that adds a micro USB interface on one end. I'm going to take that out so you can see it. And it's a simple little adapter, micro USB comes in. And then the tiny Lily plugs into that. You program it, take it off, get up to your battery, put it in your project. Pretty simple. Some of the other components here that I'm going to show you are very tiny. In fact, uh, I think the switch here, which is used for the Tiny Lily platform, is the smallest component that I've received yet from Tiny Circuits. That is a tactile switch, believe it or not, and you can feel it. When you press it, you feel it click in. It's very tiny. You could put this inside of clothing for a project to turn your project on and off, or maybe put it to sleep, bring it back, or do some kind of function there. I'm going to put that back in the bag before I lose it. I think that's one of the cons of working with small components is you tend to lose them. <laughs> Just be careful. Also with the Tiny Lily, I got various LEDs in different colors. Got some green ones, ambers, and reds. Uh, they're also very tiny, while not as tiny as the little tactile switch that I just showed you. Um, they're very, very tiny. They each have a resistor already on there. You take conductive thread, hook it back to your tiny lily, and you can control the LEDs from there. Also, I opted to get the uh, tiny lily power adapter. This is with a JST connector, so you can connect this back to, say, a lithium uh, rechargeable battery or whatever other type of battery that you might want to use. Pretty simple, has a little JST connector on one end and then a connector to the Tiny Lily on the other. So after you've programmed it, you can completely battery power it, just like the uh, Tiny Duino. And I do believe that's all the components um, that I got with my kit. I'm very happy with it so far. It seems to be high quality. I like the fact that it's made in the US. In fact, I live in Indiana. It's made right next to me in Ohio. Um, same coating as an Arduino. There may be some exceptions there yet. I have not ran into any. Um, as I said, it, it can run on a battery. You can put the battery pack on the back of the tiny Duino. You can solder it right on there. It will run off of three volts on the battery with a CR1612 battery or a CR1632 coin cell battery. Uh, we're all familiar with those coin cell batteries. You just need to find the right type with a 3.3 volt output. Um, otherwise, it runs on the 5 volt USB when it's attached. Uh, it should switch over to the VBAT when a battery is detected. Um, some of the other boards. The boards that were available during the Kickstarter launch were the uh, Tiny Duino processor board, the USB board, the uh, 16 LED board that I showed you, as well as the prototype boards, the Tiny Lily uh, processor board, the Tiny Lily mini USB adapter, which I showed you, um, the Tiny Lily motor board, which can run DC motors, um, Tiny Lily switch, little three millimeter switch, Tiny Lily battery adapter, which I showed you with a JST connector. There were some other boards being developed as stretch goals in the project since it did exceed its $10,000 goal. Um, those included GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, micro SD, a DC motor control board which could control up to four motors. I was not lucky enough to get the GPS or the Wi-Fi boards, but I should have. I'm really regretting not ordering them now that I have all this cool tiny stuff to make projects with. Uh, it's completely open source. It adheres to the Creative Commons att Attribution Share Alike 3.0 license and all design files are available on the website for download. Um, again, the tiny, uh, tiny Circuits website is tiny-circuits.com and thanks for watching.